What's up, guys? This is Jay coming at you today with a review of the St. Laurent La Home Libre Cologne. Now, I actually just did a review. I've been doing reviews on a lot of our, our colognes. I have a couple dozen here with me today, uh, and I've reviewed, I don't know how many dozens over the years. Um, and I actually just did a review of this same, again, I'm terrible with pronunciations, but La Home um, Libre Aftershave. And this one is the clone. I actually just got both of them. I'll pop this one in real quick. Here you can see the aftershave. Uh, I got both of them replanned recently. Again, you can see they're full because I just got brand new ones. Um, these are two of my favorites. Uh, I, I tend to break colognes into two categories, daily and what I like to call risky colognes. A daily is one that you can put on every day. It kind of becomes your default smell. Um, you're going to get almost never a negative comment about it. They're going to be very, very good. Uh, but it's also not going to wow anyone, right? Like it is your normal type of cologne. And then you have your risky ones that are going to get more compliments. And they're also going to get some, uh, every once in a while, someone thinks they're too strong because the design is to have more of an impact. They're supposed to pop. They're supposed to make you stand out whether it's on a date or in another setting where you actually want to impress somebody. Um, this is kind of my default for a risky cologne. So probably my two favorites are that one along with uh, this other um, St. Laurent cologne. That one's more of a subtle, like that's the bottom of my risk. This one, if I really want to make an impression, is my go-to. This one um, holds really well, so it's going to go on strong. It's going to pull back fairly quickly within 20, 30 minutes, and then it's going to hold pretty well. Um, actually, very well. This one, five, six, seven, eight hours, you're still going to be able to smell it. You do want to be careful not to overdo on this one. Again, with anything in the more risky column, you want to be careful not to overdo it, or you take a very good cologne and, and, and make it repugnant. Like, that's the nature of the risky cologne. So you... If you're going to use the aftershave with it, a little bit of the aftershave, a little bit of this cologne, and you are going to be smelling phenomenal, even without the aftershave. Just a little bit of this will make a really big impact. So first couple times you wear it, do one spray, see how it smells, see how long it holds on you. I typically like to go like one, one and a half, one to two, somewhere in that area, just depending on the occasion. Pick this cologne up, and I can almost guarantee you won't be disappointed. But again, because it's risky, there might be 1% to 2%, but you are going to really like the effect, the compliments you get from it, and the impact the smell has uh, on people who smell it. 